Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day, so if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, let's get started. So today I've got the Korg NTS-1, and I'm going to be showing you guys how you can upload user-created oscillators, modulation effects, delay effects, and reverb effects to your NTS-1 and use them. Before we do that though, I would like to take a second to shout out one of my patrons. Today we're going to be shouting out Howard Anderson. Howard has been a longtime supporter of the channel. Basically, as long as I've had the Patreon open, he always leaves insightful comments in the comment section of the videos, and he's just been an all-around great guy to have on board. So Howard, thank you very much. If you'd like to support the channel and become a patron, just head over to patreon.com freebeat. Now let's get started. So to put custom user effects and oscillators on your NTS-1, you will, of course, need an NTS-1. Should go without saying. You will also need a standard micro USB to type A cable. This is just going to plug your NTS-1 into your computer. Nice and simple. You're also going to need a free piece of software, the NTS-1 Digital Librarian. Now again, this is a free piece of software. It's available on Mac and on PC. I will have a link down in the description to both of those. So be sure to pause this video if you don't have that software already. Go click those links, download it, install it, come back. We will continue when you are ready. Now you're also going to need some user oscillators and user effects. I've linked two down in the description below, two of my favorites. Uh, the first one is the Cathedral Reverb from Hammond Eggs. I actually did a video about this uh, a week or two ago. It's a great reverb. It sounds incredibly lush and uh, divine, dare I say. I don't know. It's a great reverb. Uh, it's free. You can also support Hammond Eggs if you'd like uh, for their excellent work uh, with this great reverb. But uh, yeah, just click the link in the description to go download that. The second link is going to take you to a Volca Bass Oscillator from... Tweak, tweak, there's a lot of E's in there. Um, it's an amazing oscillator with just a ridiculous amount of features and really shows off what the NTS-1 can do. Again, both of those effects and oscillators are free, so just hit the links in the description to check them out. Be sure to leave a thank you, um, if you can, to uh, Tweak and Ham and Eggs. Uh, just excellent work uh, providing these amazing effects and oscillators for us. So now that you've got all that, let's go ahead and plug in our NTS-1 to the computer. Make sure it's plugged into the back of the NTS-1 as well. Once we've got that plugged in, let's go ahead and switch over to the computer view. So as you can see here on my desktop, I've got a couple things. I've got a zip file, uh, which is the Cathedral Reverb, and then I also have a file directly under that, which is the Volca Bass Oscillator. Now, first what I'm gonna do is uh, unzip the Cathedral Reverb into its own folder here on the desktop. That's just going to make it a little easier to navigate later. And then after that, let's go ahead and open up the NTS-1 Digital Librarian. Now you can see here, everything is broken into four different categories. We have user oscillators, user modulation effects, user delay effects, and user reverb effects. These, as you might have guessed, match up with the buttons on the NTS-1, the oscillator section, the modulation section, delay section, and reverb section. So let's start by adding our custom oscillator. So what we're gonna do is go to the user oscillators section, then you're gonna to navigate to that Volca Bass oscillator file and simply drag and drop it onto this program. There we go, we can see it's been added, Volca Bass, right there. Now if we wanna save this essentially to our NTS-1, we're gonna click the Send All button. It's gonna bring up this little disclaimer basically saying that they do their best to protect you from faulty software and stuff like that but make sure everything that you downloaded was obtained from a legit source, blah, blah, blah. You know, they're not responsible if you brick your unit, anything like that. Uh, both of the links I've provided are legitimate sources, so go ahead and click I understand, and it will write the new oscillator to your NTS-1. Just like that, it's done. Very fast process. So now let's get the reverb on there. So go ahead and open up the Cathedral folder. So you can see there are a bunch of different effects in here, and each effect, Cathedral, Haze, Mist, and Theater, both have two files, a Pro version and an XD version. We're going to want to go ahead and use the XD version. That's what's going to work properly on our NTS-1. So go ahead and take the Cathedral XD file, which is the second one here on my computer, and we are going to drag and drop that into the software, just like that. 
We are set. We're going to once again click send all. It's going to bring up that warning again. Click I understand and now it's written on there. You can now close the librarian and unplug your NTS-1. So now go ahead and power up your NTS-1 again. You can go ahead and plug it into headphones or your audio interface, however you want to listen to it. You could even use the onboard speaker if you want. And we will go ahead and we will go to the reverb section first and we will scroll all the way to the end, to the right. We will see that the Cathedral Reverb has indeed been added to the NTS-1. Now let's go back to the oscillator section, scroll all the way to the end. We can see there's the Volca bass oscillator. I'm going to go ahead and play it right now. There's a lot that this oscillator can do. I'm not even going to begin to get into that today. That's going to have to be its own video. Tweak also has an outstanding like 20 minute long uh, showcase slash tutorial of the uh, Volca Bass oscillator. Uh, I'll link that down below too. There is a lot, a lot to unpack in this awesome oscillator, especially combined with something like the Cathedral Reverb. Just so much stuff that the NTS-1 can do. And uh, this is just scratching the surface of it, but hopefully this gets you guys on track to uh, install custom user-created oscillators and mod delay and reverb effects. It's really simple. It's just a drag and drop process. Basically, once you get the software installed and you've got a reliable type A to micro B cable, that's really all you need. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, go ahead and leave a like on the video. If not, you can leave a dislike. That's okay too. Doesn't hurt my feelings. Just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.